What's going on guys? I know it's been a while since I picked up the camera. If you're new and you're watching this, make sure you hit the subscribe, the bell, all that good stuff. But uh, just want to update you guys, give you an update on the store, including myself and uh, what's been going on and kind of the day to day basis. But I do got something a little special that I want to show you guys and what I'm doing and why I picked up the camera because usually I'm super, super busy. I don't have time. I need to get a camera in to help me out and do all this stuff. But uh, what I'm doing today is I got a Moken 12.5 pedal drive kayak. I'm installing some accessories on here for a customer. Yeah, it's my shop so I can wear no sh Anyways, I'm getting sidetracked. Uh, he will install some electronics on the, the kayak. So we're putting this on here with a little custom arm mount. That was kind of compact. I have a little Noco, Noco, Noca. I don't know how they pronounce that brand, but I'll show you that. And uh, we're gonna get this situated, mounted up. I kind of like it where it is with the pedals. It doesn't interfere. Really, really nice. Uh, people ask why I put it on the left side versus the right, where you're gonna store your paddle over here. So it's gonna get in the way of that. Even though it's a pedal drive, you never know when you need to paddle. So it's always a must that I've learned with kayaks. So I put it on the left side, it's out of the way. Normally, if you're right-handed, you're casting and all that stuff, it's out of the way as well, too. But it's kind of personal preference. So you can set it up, move it wherever you want as well, too. But when I do it, I put on your left side here, out of the way. So it's kind of a tutorial today of setting up this kayak with a battery and a fish finder and uh, just getting it ready for the customer to pick up so he's happy with it. All right. So this customer used to have a Hobie, and he had some leftover accessories. So I told him to keep it and bring it in. And we'll try to outfit them on the uh, feel free, which is kayaks a kayak. Um, this is just a battery kit. The brand is the Nokua, like I was stating earlier. But it's just a Hobie part. It comes with a fish finder. Uh, not a fish finder. It comes with a battery for a fish finder. The only thing that makes it Hobie specific is this bracket that holds the battery, and it kind of mounts. And it kind of mounts inside the uh, compartment, your front lid hatched area there. There's a Hobie deal where it mounts, has it in this little clamp bracket that kind of holds everything in place. The battery goes here. Yeah, so that's what makes it specific to Hobie. Well, we can still use it and mount it in the feel free. So got that. This is the battery here, the Nokua. I do sell lithium batteries. I don't know if you can see up there. They're kind of there, right there. And uh, I sell Z-Pro, Ionic, and Dakota Lithium. So if you're in the market for a battery, I can take care of you. I'll show you more of that stuff later. Uh, let me set this here and I will show you. So it's a Elite TI-2 7, seven inch unit. I think seven to nine inch is perfect for the non-serious tournament guy for a kayak. And so we're gonna stick that on there. It's already mounted, you guys saw that. But uh, yeah, just a Lowrance. It's got uh, side scan, down scan, and 2D, which is perfect. Uh, GPS, you can add mapping and all that stuff. Only thing with this one, it's not compatible with your active target, which is kind of popular nowadays. Everybody wants that forward facing sonar, live sonar. And uh, what else? Yeah, that's it. We're gonna get this rigged out and uh, get them on the water. Just quick update, we're back. It's lunchtime. I'm gonna run and grab something to eat. Also, I have an employee. I have my first employee. His name is Darian. Uh, he had an emergency back home. He's from North Carolina, so he had to run back home to go see his family. Uh, so he'll be back this coming week. So that's why I'm by myself. So I'm gonna go run and grab lunch, and I'll return. Hopefully nobody shows up. Uh, I told him to call me normally if they do. Actually, I'm forgetting the phone, so I need to go grab that. And I'm gonna run and trying to figure out what I want to eat today. All right, so this is the dilemma I have right now. So he has the Hobie kit for the battery that holds this deal. The battery fits in there. So I want to make it as clean as possible. I'll probably put a through hole fitting because this dude here. I'll probably put that there, run it all the way up. And I'm thinking what I'm thinking now to make it as efficient and clean as possible. And I don't like drilling holes and stuff. So I'm thinking about using some epoxy and epoxy in this there where it's still out of the way in the future if you want to take it out 
remove it. He can still do that by getting that epoxy off. But epoxy up here, the battery's out of the way. He still has access to all his uh, storage. That way he needs to put stuff in there to get water in the boat. It's up out of the way, high enough where it's not going to be submerged in water. And I have some stick on, uh, what you call it, I can use for to run the wire up as well. So I think that's the best option. So he can utilize this. It's a Hobie part for a non Hobie kayak. I think that's pretty cool that I'm able to do that. Like I said, I'll just epoxy it up here out of the way, let it dry. That way he can still stick the battery in there. Remove it. It's just a nice holder. Their other option was to Velcro it under the seat, but still getting the lithium battery wet. I don't think that's pretty cool. Uh, well, I don't think that's cool. The other option, put it in the Yak Attack crate. But then I'll put a hole in here and drill it or something. But then I got loose wire laying on the deck. I'm not a fan of that either. So I think the best option is that. Put a through hole adapter here. Run the wire on the inside, epoxy that. That's there, he can take it out and move it if he needs to. I ordered more of these fish monkey gloves. People tend to like these. And being so hot in Texas, I can't stress enough to cover up when you go fishing. Uh, helps a whole bunch. I got a bunch of different colors. This was the American flag one. The others over there, I'll show you guys those here in a sec. Matter of fact, let me just stock these in first and I'll take you over there when I hang them up and show you. What's happening guys? Sorry, today is the next day. Super busy, didn't get time to pick up the camera and show you what I did. Uh, just gonna talk about the kayak. I got it epoxied in. Show you guys. It's kind of dark in there. Let me lighten it up. Boop, boop, boop. You can see in a little bit. I'm gonna put some more in the corners right there. I got that one too. Then I have some back there in the back corners. I'm gonna clean that up and make sure I get that back part back there. I don't know if you guys can see that. But it's in, it's pretty rock solid. I don't want to hit it too hard. This is the little battery that goes in there. Turn that down, I'm sorry. The Nikoa, that's how you say it. Nikoa battery. In there, we're good. So I'll pick up on it tomorrow. It's closing time, I'm tired, I'm hot. Hungry, you know the deal. Um, pick up the camera tomorrow and kind of give you the finished product. Also, if you want a hat, I got one hat left. 28 bucks. Uh, you can buy it online, pick it up here in the store. Or I'll ship it to you. I think shipping's like eight or nine bucks. Random, but uh, I'll check in tomorrow. <laughs>